So we are back. Last week in our general discussion, we talked about the a replacement for Tony Khan yep. as it relates to booking and, the day to day. And then what would it take for Tony Khan to be replaced? So we're going to do something very similar to that, except we are going to do it with someone who is also running a wrestling promotion that is not doing very well right now. And by that, we're talking about Mr. William Patrick Corgan. And the NWA. So the NWA at first was white hot. Yep. It was really picking up steam. Um, this wave after wave of nostalgia. Um, the pandemic did put a damper on it, but it wasn't the death nail. Like no. They really did rebound pretty well. But then came late 2023 and into early 2024. I, 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 I solely, I solely believe what happened with um, Samhain and the fact that they just bring in like the most random people on earth mm -hmm. into power is ridiculous. They had two other shows that you can do that with. They had um, uh, uh, NWA USA. Mm -hmm. Then there was another one I can't remember, but they totally canceled those, and now they're only doing Power, and Power is not even on YouTube anymore. So let's talk about the person who I wouldn't replace him with, <laughs> and I believe is the guy who is solely responsible for it, and I believe uh, Billy Corgan is getting a lot of advice from as it relates to booking, and that is Father James Mitchell. I would not be surprised if he was getting a lot of advice from him, mainly because Obviously, this is not his primary gig. He is also a singer for the Smashing Pumpkins, and he also does a bunch of other things. Um, my, my, my theory is that Father James Mitchell probably knows a little bit more about the day-to-day -day than most than he lets on, I guess. Like, he actually has, like, an advisory role of sorts. Right. Because based off of his behavior as Samhain, um, and obviously he was, like, the master of ceremonies or whatever the case was, but I think that that was kind of a glimpse into his style of booking, and it really reflects itself. If I I don't I haven't watched the weekly episodes of Power, but I wonder if that kind of bleeds into just the presentation of the shows now, themselves. I like the presentation of Power. They did a big update with it, and mm -hmm. I think it looks really cool personally. But the randomness, the whole thing, because Father James Mitchell came from a very ECW esque environment mm. as it comes so, to so that. So, when it comes to that, obviously ECW was very much the same way. There were a lot of random people coming in and out of the promotion. I mean, there, there, there was like, the establishment, but there wasn't like, there, there, there aren't the stories that they had before. Like, right. it, it seems like very much match, 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 go. Yeah. Instead of let's start developing these things because Hard Times 4 happened like a couple of weeks ago and I didn't even know about it. Right. And we would cover that on a regular basis. Right. Because we were aware that there were there was a, a show, there were matches on the card, and now we can't even we can't even do predictions on those because they the, don't the, announce any matches. Yeah. Social media presence was dead in the water. Yep. There was nothing happening. I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to be excited about it on a show that I like? I like the NWA. Right. Um, you know, and the other thing too is that if you notice, like even even their a lot of their top stars have they're they're not there as consistently as as expected, I guess. And right. I wonder I wonder if Besides maybe a few of their top stars, maybe a dozen people, if all of these people who are just working show to show at this point, like I would not be surprised. Yeah, I mean, like a person like Tim Storm, EC3, um, uh, everybody in Pretty Empowered, like they're not there. I mean, they're there, I would say, more on a fairly consistent basis, right. but then they're adding in teams like the Slime Balls, and they're there for like, Two or three weeks, and then they're gone. And then right. there's like a random segment thing with the spectaculars, and now they are not on TV at all. They had uh, Paul Birchall there, right, uh, uh, during the last part of it, and he's not there anymore, right. And and I think that the lack of a consistent roster is really going to hurt. It is hurting them. Yeah, it is hurting them in the long run because there isn't anything to invest into, right? And that's the problem. I'm sorry. If you are watching American wrestling, American wrestling is story based. It's story driven. It's a story driven and you have environment. To have a consistent roster in order to 
have people to invest in. Right. Like GCW actually does this well. They actually do stuff mm -hmm. in a consistent basis, even though it is a constant changeover of people. Right. And, so, and uh, Impact Wrestling or TNA to a certain extent is like that too, where they, 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 I think they have more of they, an established roster. They do roster. have more of an established roster, but there are a lot of people that they go in for a short time, you know, maybe they do it like pay-per-view to pay-per-view and then they mm -hmm. leave afterwards. Right. So I would not uh, place it Father James Mitchell. Oh, it's a, absolutely not. But let's talk about it, a few people that might. So my first choice would be Trevor Murdoch. Okay. He obviously had um Dick Slater. I, it was Dick Slater. Um that was his original trainer. Yeah. Or it was Dick Murdoch. It was one of the two. Um he took care of him very old school. And Trevor Murdoch is already a producer on the mm -hmm. show. He understands what the people are looking for. He had that right. awesome, spectacular rivalry with Nick Aldis. Yeah. In that big baby face build. And and you know I'm sure that you already have them on this this list as well, but someone like uh, someone like Tyrus, who is also a producer, would be a great. I don't have Tyrus on this. Okay. I didn't. I didn't think about Tyrus just because I think Tyrus would be um, that one would be a little bit more challenging but for he, him because of his um, because of his other affiliation with Fox. But I don't think that's going to be a hindrance to him necessarily. Um, I disagree because I, I think because he is a producer right now. He is a producer for the company. I didn't. Well. I didn't see him on the roster list. I could be wrong, but uh, I I chose Trevor Murdoch as number one because I think the person who is working in the creative aspect mm -hmm. within any wrestling promotion this should be their primary yep. and only occupation at the or or the main focus of their right. occupation. And and again, I think Nick Alls would be a great. A pick as well but obviously he is with the e <laughs> right so i i chose trevor murdoch because he's very old school very mm. old school southern wrestling sort yeah. of guy i think he would have a really good understanding on how to book these things mm. doesn't he also run a wrestling school yeah he does run the wrestling school so, so there we go he already has experience with booking shows and stuff right uh, the other person that I thought about is Jim Cornette. Now, that is a very interesting... And, and again, you talked to me about controversial pick. He's also going to be a controversial pick as well. But Jim Cornette, I think, would be, I would say, the best choice because, A, he knows how to book wrestling. Yeah. He did it with Smoky Mountain. He did it with OVW to a very successful degree. The only reason that Smoky Mountain went under is because... He was essentially driven out of his own promotion mm -hmm. uh, both times yeah. because Jim Cornette is very passionate about wrestling. And, and again, he's also very controversial, but he does know the business. I mean, you can't say that he doesn't. Right. Uh, Southern, very Southern wrestling guy. Yeah. He really likes to harken back to the old days. Mm -hmm. He knows the psychology of wrestling. Mm -hmm. So I think Jim Cornette, I mean, this would be my like, first ballot choice to oh, be yeah. the... To be the day to day booker and now say the problem is, is can 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 Billy Corgan afford it? <laughs> I think he I don't think he's gonna come very cheap. <laughs> well, I mean he was he was already in NWA. Don't you remember? He was a commentator. Oh yeah, he was. So he was a commentator early, but then he made that joke that people thought was racist, which actually wasn't racist at all, because he was making that joke for thirty fucking years. He was talking about the famine, not about the race. Can't remember the famine. I think it was like something in the Congo. Oh. But uh, he he was making that joke already, and it was like because it was a starving joke, so not tasteful, but it wasn't racist. I think that whole thing was stupid and blown out of proportion. I think this would be the best choice. Vampiro is retiring. Yes, he has popularity with Mexico. Yes, but he was also trained very traditionally in that style. Now everybody that I'm talking about, I'm trying to cater to people who are retired because I don't think you should be an active competitor and booking the show at the same time. No. It's too easy for nepotism and putting yourself on the top. Yeah. So with Vampiro, if Vampiro or Trevor Murdoch or anybody else, they should not have any association on television with anybody directly. Mm -hmm. So and, and again, that's also why I picked Tyrus, because Tyrus did retire from in ring competition. Right. Now uh, Tyrus would be a good choice mm -hmm. too. Now, but the problem is is that I, I was looking at it based on because remember, not every wrestler can be a booker, but I think right. every booker should have the experience as being a competitor, a manager, something like, like in the wrestling. Someone business. someone who saw someone who is 
was on the outside. Right. Or on the inside, rather. Right. Um, now, uh, Billy Corgan does have that experience. He did book early ECW. He worked with Paul Heyman there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he worked with Juggalo Championship Wrestling as You're well. You're talking about Vampiro then, right? No, I'm talking about Billy Corgan okay. right now. He does, he does have the experience there. And Vampiro, I would say, has experience, I think, beyond a lot of the other competitors because he was a megastar mm-hmm. somewhere. He, I think he would understand character. And I think that's really in an, another place that NWA is hurting right now. Right, is character development because there are no characters. I mean, other other than like outrageous stuff. And the problem with I see with Vampiro is because of the environment he was in, there might be some of that, and that's just not the American audience. Right, I could I could see that. I think they're I'm not yeah. saying that he's a bad choice. I'm just saying that he probably doesn't have experience in a more traditional. Rass, like American, Southern wrestling, or, or even American wrestling in general sense. Well, he worked WCW and shit, and he was, oh, yeah, he, was, but, he, was he was popular over there. But, well, you but know, once again, again, I, I understand your point. But Vampiro is also a producer, so that's why I'm like, you know, he wouldn't be a bad right. choice. He also worked closely with Lucha Underground, and yeah. that was very popular. So that's sort of why I was looking at that. What about Aaron Stevens? Another person who is, uh, well, he did technically retire. He, but did, guess, he did technically retire. But I guess he's not, I don't know. He is, he is a producer yeah. on the show. Uh, he is the manager for uh, uh, Blood Force Trauma, mm-hmm. but also wrestling historian. Yep. He was trained by, I believe, Killer Kowalski. Yeah. Same person who trained Triple H. Yep. So... I think this would be a great choice oh, in yeah. that similar thing. Also, he's younger. Yeah. And I think that younger blood in that thing of experimenting mm. with Aaron Stevens would be good. And also, he's good about changing up his own character. Oh, absolutely. He knows how to make things work. Yep. Damien Mizdow. Yep. Um, his stuff with Cody Rhodes was great. Yep. His stuff here as a manager is awesome. Yep. He's, a, he's top heel. Right. So that's why I'm thinking, what about him? And I think this is my last one, Jazz. That's an interesting choice. So Jazz, once again, is Southern trained wrestling. Mm-hmm. She, I think she trained in Atlanta. She is an executive producer right now in NWA. Oh. She is a former NWA women's champion. Yeah. And that um in the women's division right now, I think is the best division that the NWA has. Yeah. So maybe a little more of an emphasis on them would be interesting. But that's those were my choices. Now I like the choice of Tyrus, but with Tyrus, it's like, well, was his success from him or was his success because of the E? Right. But with Jazz, she worked really hard. I think she would be a good choice. And the same thing with really everybody else. Yeah. I would say Vampira would be more of a stretch. Yeah. Um, well, I think I think your top two picks would either be Murdoch or Stevens because. I, I, cause they're already signed to the company. Right. You don't have to, you just give them a little extra pay and give them, give them more creative control yeah. on that aspect because I, I don't think Billy Corrigan is necessarily, I, I, I think you're right. I think his, um, focus with the Smashing Pumpkins mm-hmm. is a hindrance for the most part. I think he's like, let's get them going. The pandemic didn't help. And now they're just kind of throwing things at the wall to and, see what sticks. And right now, that's not what they need. Right? They they need they need established. They right. need something like that. And also, I think him doing the territory thing is sort of hurting too. <sighs> just because I think once again, it's a distraction. Right. That's true. So I think all of these distractions for Billy Corgan, especially trying to get these smaller promotions. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, we have to introduce these smaller promotions yep. to the wider audience, so we're going to have to shove them on power. Right. It's like, no, put them on the NWA USA. Right. Maybe uh, work with the CW app and say, hey, can these smaller companies run a show or two um, on, I don't know, Tuesday right. or whatever. But that, that's just sort of where I'm thinking what I'm thinking is happening. Right. Um, it's a good idea on paper, but I think – Trying to juggle negotiations here, smashing pumpkins, and NWA power yeah. is something is getting hurt here. Yeah, something's getting hurt, and he's he's not going to hurt this. Right. He's not hurting smashing pumpkins. Right, too popular. Right, um, but then obviously this is the new project. Yeah, what's the common denominator that's getting hurt over here? Right, so 
That's just my uh, my thought. Do you have anybody else I, in mind I other than Tyrus? No, I don't. Because I mean, because with with this, you have to think southern. You have to yeah. think southern traditional wrestling. All right, and you're not going to get someone like um, you're going to get like Joe Kazanza because he's also signed right. with them too. He's right, you're generation. not, but you don't you want to get someone like uh, uh, Scott Demore. He doesn't understand that style. No, but hey. He's always a pick too. Yeah. I just don't think he's gonna. I. I. That is very long shot. I do not think that NWA has the money for Scott. <laughs> right. Well. Uh. Well. We want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Uh. Put in the comments on other choices that you might yeah. think of. Uh. It doesn't have to keep within the criteria of retired Southern wrestling traditionally done. If you think, oh, maybe this traditional wrestler would also be a good choice. Right. Obviously, put them in the comments. But anyways, next week, uh, to be determined, but we'll definitely put it on the website and let yes. you know as soon as we know. So check it out. Uh, link in the description. And as always, be majestic.